Hello there, welcome to a short summary of probability. So, starting with basics, probability is between 0 and 1. A probability of 1 means something is certain, a probability of 0 means it's impossible. Okay, so if you get a value that's negative, you're wrong. If you get a value that's greater than 1, you're wrong. You need to check your answers. You can write probability as a decimal or as a fraction, never as a ratio. That is bad, bad, bad. Don't do that. You won't get any marks. So, let's look at some probability questions. If the probability of it snowing today is 0.3, using this scale here, we know that the probability of it not snowing is 0.7, because these must add up to 1, because it's certain it will either snow or not. Similarly, probability of being late, if that's 0.1, probability of not being late is 0.9. Again, those must add up to 1, because it's certain they'll either be late or not late. OK, looking at another simple probability problem, we have beads in the bag. The examiners love to use these. Three red beads, two blue, five yellow. So the probability of getting a red bead is 3 out of 10, because I have three red beads out of a total of 10 beads altogether. We can write that as a fraction, yay. Or as a decimal, yay. Remember, not as a ratio. Similarly, the examiner might ask you a slightly more confusing question. I'm using the word not. The probability of not getting a blue bead is 8 out of 10, because there are 8 beads that are not blue, 5 yellow and 3 red, or we count it down to 4 out of 5, or 0.8 as a decimal. OK, looking now at another aspect of probability, uh, sometimes called a possibility space, more often called a two-way table. What this does, it shows you all the outcomes for two events. Here we have event one, which is throwing a single die. Event two, which is throwing a coin and getting a head or a tail. So like here, I've got a head on the coin and a one on the die. Here I've got a tail on the coin and a three on the die. So let's use that to answer some probability questions. Probability of getting a head and a three has only one option out of all my 12 possibilities, so probability is 1 out of 12. Probability of getting a tau and an even number, well there's one option here, two option here, third option here, so that's 3 out of a total of 12, which is a quarter. The only other aspect of probability um, that we're going to cover at this foundation GCSE stage is experimental probability. This is where they've carried out an experiment and they show you the results and then ask you some questions about the results. Here we've thrown a coin a hundred times, we've got 70 heads and 30 tails. Now if we do the probability from an experiment we call it the relative frequency. So don't let that confuse you if I ask you out in an exam, okay? Very simple, relative frequency is just probability from an experiment. So if they said, what's the relative frequency of getting a head? We would say, yeah, normally it's a half, but from this experiment, the relative frequency is 70 out of 100. 70 out of 100, or 0.7. Okay, that's all we're going to cover at this stage. Thank you for listening.